Hello everybody. Today I would like to present to you a grasshopper definition that can be used to create spiral Voronoi patterns. You are free to download this definition by clicking on the link that is shown below this video. You are also free to make modification to the definition to craft it to your intended requirements. Okay, let's look at some of the parameters and inputs within this definition that we can use to uh, tweak and fashion the designs to our requirements. Okay, let's look at the first section, the number generation section. Okay, over here, basically, what it does is that you, it's used to create a list of numbers which will later be used to generate points that will in turn be used to create um, Voronoi patterns as you can see over here okay yeah so let's look at this and okay you can see that there's a, uh, there's a start and a step okay basically the step here controls the size of the increment okay let me give an example let's say if I change this to 2 Okay, you can see that the increment is uh, in that of uh, 2. So you can see from 2, you jump to 4, 4 uh, plus 2, it jumps to 6 and so on and so forth. Okay, and this change, as you can see, affects the final pattern. Okay, okay then you have the count input. Okay, basically this input determines the number of uh, numbers that will be created in, in the list okay so by increasing the count you are increasing the, the 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 number of points that will eventually be created you can see over here yep okay yeah you can see over here yeah now we have uh, more more points by increasing the the count here okay now let's head over to the point creation section okay so over here uh, you have two inputs that are used to create the spiral effect and the scale of the the spiraling points okay so uh, if you want to control the spiraling effect you can play with the values over here okay you can see yep the spiraling effects are changed based on our input okay yeah you can see this seems to be quite a nice pattern i think i will stick with this okay and over here you have the scale okay basically the scale here is used to change the size of the of the piece Okay, let's head over to the Voronoi creation section. Okay, here um, there is a parameter, the piece size we can use to actually uh, control the size of the Voronoi pieces. Okay, so let's say if I give a smaller value, you can see if you decrease the, the value, the individual pieces somewhat becomes circular that's because uh, they are not uh, meeting the, the the boundary yet okay so let's say if you increase the value you can see that the Voronoi patterns start to extend and expand from the center region over here okay yep uh, I think this effect is quite nice yeah okay then you have the gap distance basically the gap distance determine the, the 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 gap over here the size of the gap over here so if you give it a value of zero basically there will be no gap whatsoever you can see over here there's no gap whatsoever and you can use uh, this to control the gap distance okay so let's give it a zero point okay yep 
Okay, then lastly, you have the extrusion height. Okay, as the name implies, uh, by tweaking the value over here, you are able to control the height of each uh, extrusion. Okay, so let's say I change it to 0.5. Yeah, I can see it's uh, thicker now. Okay. If you desire to have a different color to your pattern, you can go to the color display to make changes to to the color. Okay. And finally, when you are happy with your design and you wish to convert it into uh, Rhino surfaces, you would want to bake it okay by right clicking over this uh, component over here the, the extrude component and selecting bake to convert the result into its um, rhino equivalent okay I think I come to the end of this video um, as mentioned you can follow the link below this uh, video to download the grasshopper definition okay hope that this uh, video has been useful to you see you around bye